Hello guys, uh, welcome back in this video. Let's uh, make a char character armature using Zsphere. So I'm taking the Zsphere node here and just clicking and dragging it. After that, I need to, uh, you know, able to draw this thing uh, further. So I'm switching this to edit mode and uh, you can change the material. I'm changing this to the basic material here. And we have uh, four options. One is draw, move, scale and rotate. So right now I'm in the draw mode. I can just uh, also just enable the active symmetry on. So you have X, Y, Z. So I'm uh, putting this to X symmetry and I'm just drawing this uh, point there. So it's adding the Z sphere. This Z sphere can be moved uh, using the move tool. It can be scaled also. Uh, so you have further armature. Maybe you can rotate them as well. So while you are in draw mode, uh, don't, uh, you know, rotate it by holding shift. This can give me some weird result. So instead you switch to move tool and then rotate and it should do fine. So I'm going to select this and then move it down and this one move it up. So this is going to give me the torso like feel here. So I'm going to choose the scale tool and then scale it uh, further and then start uh, posing it uh, like a human torso, a human uh, figure. So I'm choosing the draw tool and then draw one point and then click and drag it down for the legs part. Uh, you got some shape. I'm scaling this one just by picking the scale tool, clicking and dragging it over. I choose the draw tool again and then select that one, go to the side view and then move it like that. So you can actually scale these points. So I just uh, choose the draw tool and then draw the point and then move it further down like that. So I'm choosing the scale tool and then scaling it up. And then I'm going to move this one using the move tool like that. So choose the draw tool, just click and drag and then using the move tool, uh, you know, move it there like that. So I'm just uh, trying to make the hand part. So I'm scaling this till the shoulder point like that. And then choose the draw tool, just click and drag, then move tool, start moving it. So I'm, I'm just placing one joint for the elbow and then make it like that. So slightly move it forward, move it forward. And if I just wanted it to be uh, standing in a pose, then maybe I should make it straight like that. I'm using the draw tool to draw the point and then move tool to move it. Then draw it again Then choose the move tool. And then using scale, I'm going to scale it. I'm choosing the draw, just click and drag and then move, move it. So you could able to see I've got some structure here for the humanoid, a human figure. So you can just keep posing this as uh, per the requirement. Now let's say I want to make him look more bulky, then it's all about selecting the right Z spheres and then scaling it and then moving them as per uh, the proportions. So I'm just scaling it like that and making him look more bulky like that. So I'm, I'm choosing the draw tool and clicking anywhere in the middle It's going to add a, a point in the center. So that's uh, going to add that rib cage and uh, start uh, scaling those points there. And that, that is going to add some uh, volume to the character. So you're able to see I'm getting that uh, bulk to the figure and uh, I'm going to choose the scale tool and then start uh, making it look more bigger. So let's say if you have added a point and you want to remove it, you can hold alt and remove that point anytime you wanted them to be removed. So I'm just scaling it and I'm moving it like that. I'm scaling this point here. And also you can move it for the correct pose. You can check the 
a silhouette for the right pose like that Uh, you can press A on the keyboard to check how the mesh is going to be built. And I press Shift F just to get that uh, <coughs> uh, polygroup colors for the hand. So with slight uh, modifications, I have ended up building this uh, shape. So I, I can just, uh, you know, go to the unified or oh, sorry, adaptive skin here and then have a preview of the mesh. And then if I press Shift F, should able to see this uh, mesh is too denser so i'm going to choose the dynamesh and the density to you know lower uh, the least value and then you should able to see this model at its lowest polygon count if i increase the density to two it is going to divide it for the second time so uh, you want to divide it or you want to dynamesh it you can choose anything uh, between those uh, lines okay so once uh, you got that you can actually uh, you know sculpt your model so for here i'm going to choose the clay build up tool and i am using the symmetry and then i'm able to you know put clay over the model here uh, so uh, if you as i told if the resolution was not really uh, okay for you you should have uh, gone for the lowest uh, subdivision at this point uh, you can after you started sculpting you have the dynamesh in the hand you can start dynamishing your model to get those uh, clay volumes uh, to the character you could also do the uh, smooth brush um, and then quickly add those um, volumes to the character like how you basically add clay and then uh, get that shape 